Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. Right here, I've got some watermelons, and I've got two different varieties. And I planted these a little early July, like early to mid-July. Uh, I put these in. They were already sp uh, little sprouts. They grew really quickly. Uh, they were looking really good. They produced, uh, I've got three fruit on there right now, and I think it's time to pick them, at least for the that variety right there. So that one, pretty sure they're ready. I've got a big sunspot on them. They're looking really good. This one back here, they're supposed to be much bigger, and they're actually it's actually smaller than this one here. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what that's about. Maybe it just didn't make it. I don't know. We did have some really high heat temperatures. I mean, we were pushing 100 degrees. Now, they're only two months in the ground, roughly, which isn't a lot of time, but I think they're ready. In fact, the, the plant itself is kind of starting to die. So it is time whether they are ready or not, it's time to pick them. And we're gonna rip these out of the ground and I'm gonna re-prepare this bed for something else. I actually wanna get some peas in there. It's about the time temperatures are starting to, to drop. Today is still 100 degrees, but we are seeing some days that are a little bit lower. So pretty soon we'll see a major drop in temperature. Uh, probably, I mean, it's September, so we should, by the end of September, see a little bit of a drop, uh, enough for peas to be able to get in there. So, and then usually by the end of October, we get some pretty chilly temperatures. So I want to get peas in before it freezes, so that way they have time to produce some peas. So let's get to this. All right, so as you guys can see, I've got a pretty big sunspot here on this one, but one other technique you can do is you can look at the tentril, and let's find that tentril. So there, right there, is a tentril, and that is completely dried up. And I've heard that that's one way. You can see that's completely dried up. We have a little knob right there, but I think we're good. So I'm going to cut off leaving, not that, but we're going to leave, whoop, there we go, uh, a little bit of this. Let's see if I can, it's kind of hard to do one-handed here. So there we go. So I'm going to leave a little bit, uh, you can see of the vine there just going to help it continue to ripen on the counter and we will do the same thing with this one we're going to cut it off get the leaf off oh well that didn't stay but we still got that so that's good so i'm going to bring these in on the counter let them ripen a little bit let's see how this one's looking i mean i don't think it's ready but Oh shoot, I kind of cut into it, trying to cut it off the vine. Looks like we're going to have to cut into this one, see how it is. Let's see what that looks like since it's already open. Oh yeah, no, that looks great. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, that's sweet, guys. Oh yeah, that's ready. How nice. It's small, they should be much bigger, but it's gonna be a nice little snack for my kids. Mmm, that's good and sweet. All right, I'll bring these in. I'll let them ripen a little bit, but they're definitely ready. All right, next I need to clear this out and prepare it for the next crop that I plan on putting in. You wanna tell us how you think about it? What do you guys think? It's sweet, but a little sour. A Got a little sourness. And a few too many seeds. Well, the seeds, that's because it's a natural one. It's not, yeah, there's a lot of seeds. That's because it's, that's natural. It's not the seedless watermelon like you get in the store. These tend to be a little sweeter than the ones in the store that have the seeds, or no seeds. It's so yummy. Yeah, you like it? Probably mm -hmm. could have she waited, loves it. Probably could have waited on the vine a little longer, but I'm happy about it. Yeah, yeah, it probably is a little bit early of a pick. I accidentally cut it. Now, if I would let it ripen inside, it probably would ripen just fine. And I think those other two, they're going to ripen. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? You happy with it? Yum? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to stick some in the fridge and we'll have some cold watermelon. Picking out all the seeds. Mm -hmm. You know, you can bite it and then chew it and just spit out the seed while you're chewing. It's okay. good. Yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. What about you, Abby? Delicious. Yummy. You like it? Mm -hmm. All right. Good. So kids are happy.